Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Gemini. We're going to get straight into it. Gem, I feel you guys are actually the energy I picked up on when I hooked in was impatience. Positive movement forward towards the light. It's going to take patience and planning. All right. Okay. Positive move forward towards the light. That sounds fantastic. So what have you guys got going on here? You're impatient about patience and planning. You need patience and planning. So maybe that's what you really do need to do now. It's actually like take this anxiety, this I have to have I have to have it now type of energy that I'm feeling. You need to pull it back a bit. You need to actually get the, uh, a strategy in order, a plan. Um, and make sure you aim for the highest of highest of the high. Hey, go for go for gold. Go for gold. Go for the sun. Go for your dream, desire. But well, let's find out. Okay. Hmm. It's coming off the back of some heartache and loss. Now, whether it's your, um, you feel like you've disappointed yourself, I've got that feeling, or you're just feeling very disappointed. You literally feel like your heart has dropped into your gut at times. Hey, or you're kicked in it, like that feeling of getting kicked in the gut. Hmm. Yes, but I think you're starting to decide that you've had enough of, of this. You've had enough of this feeling. Now, I think maybe this heartache and loss could have happened at least three times, but I think you're just saying to yourself, I I've lived in my own perpetual isolation cave of misery for too long now, you know, as in people hurt us. We hurt ourselves too. But it's how long we keep ourselves stuck like this because the only person this poor girl's hurting is herself she's got herself backed into a corner so I think you're coming up with a plan I think you've literally got to a point where you, you're getting cranky with it you've had enough of it and you want it to change this is it you know I've got nowhere else to go okay it's time to, to make a change but I think you just want to go for the light and go for anything that looks shiny and bright and good. But I think you really do need to pick a path because there might be coming, things coming at you at the moment that may not, not necessarily be, you know, all roads lead to Rome type of thing, but all paths don't lead to glory. So, you know, it, with each one, there's different options, you know different things you'll learn along the way. Um, I sort of pick up that there might be a couple of other people that are sort of trying to guide you through this or saying, come come with us, we see a higher perspective. So if you have people, maybe that's a good thing to do, get a higher perspective, step out of the situation for a second. Because once you come up with the idea, you get the planning in order, be patient with it. You'll take it and run. All right, let's get a better idea of what we've got going here. Yeah, so I think that's basically the guidance with that. First part is choose wisely. There's a lot of options ahead of you. Um, any advice for Gemini? Thank you. Another one on choosing wisely. Remember to take what you've learnt with you, okay? There could be uh, someone that's actually... Mm, looks like they might be on your side but may not necessarily be on your side at this time. So make sure you cover your own back at the moment. Keep your um, what you're doing to yourself because it looks like there could be a lot of gossip around you as well. Which could lead to your plans being toppled. So, yeah. 
Take your time, sit back, make a decision. This came up opposite on it. Nine of Cups, yes. Ah. <laughs> uh. Could be an issue with drinking here or other people's drinking or party situations or stuff like that. Uh, I think you're seeing through that now. I think you're deciding that it's time to that maybe partying or party people are not really your cup of tea anymore. Maybe you're deciding it's time to sort of head out on your own and see what you can do with this life. You want to get your life together. You want to get your life organized you want the best life for yourself and hanging around with people that do excess has only led to heartache and loss maybe it could have been your own excess at times but you're moving out on your own there could be a loyal person that has your back, but the more I look at this wolf, I don't really see it as a comforting puppy dog. I see it as something that's willing to jump her when she's not fully present. Take the food that she might have or... Mm, thanks. You might have lost the inspiration, but I think this is what it's trying to say. You need to distance yourself. Stay away from inebriation at the moment. It'll give you good direction. I think now that you've seen everything from a really new perspective, uh, you're realising just how limiting your past life has been the past people that you might have hung out with the situations that you put yourself in times of excess and you know you may once the party's over sober up and realize that there's not that many people around there are only good time people and I think you've got a new perspective and I think you're moving out on your own now. You're moving up. You're getting more adult. Looking after number one. But I think a lot of stuff's still making you feel trapped. Let me get in the guidance. There's a whole novel just popped out. I'll read that. And it's all upside down. But we'll read it upright. Yeah. You weren't feeling landed straight on this heartache and loss. You weren't feeling at all bountiful, uh, nor did you feel like your world was large. You felt like quite limited and small. I think over the years, your life could have got smaller and smaller and smaller. You may have done less and less and less, socialised with less and less people, done the same things over and over and over again. It's uh, led to a lack of stability and lack of accountability and lack of uh, hooking into intuition. Now, this may not necessarily be you. This could be somebody in your life. And also, with the judgment in reverse here, a lack of, um, as I said, accountability, but... A lack of awakening is the way I see this too. You sort of look at this card and the person sort of waking into spirituality, being risen, being born again into spirituality. It kept you in a, a, a state of spiritual haze. But we'll have a look at any love blocks and we'll see what you're doing is right. in making decisions for yourself. You're choosing lightness over dark playfulness life is too short to be too serious <laughs> and I was just saying something about growing up I think there's there's two ways you can be playful um as in you can get a completely inebriated and 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 party and all the rest of it or you can simply just enjoy the beauty of of nature or your day you know 
being playful doesn't mean writing yourself off, I think. That's what it's trying to say. And conquer self-doubt. You can get out of this cage. You can free yourself. I'll get you a um, love yourself card. Straight out. I am open and receptive to all good. I deserve to live in an atmosphere of joy and acceptance. Yes, Gem, time to choose the light, time to move on to a new, brand new future. Aim high, aim for the best. Lift your vibration, come from a place of good. If what was keeping you down was inebriation or people that were in that sort of thing, the same old crew, whatever, it's time to free yourself because it had you trapped, it made your world really small and there was no stability there. Time to enjoy things that you remember from when you were a kid. Look how um, youthful that lady is with her bubbles, okay? You can do this. You can free yourself from the cage that you, you feel that you are trapped in. At any time, you can free. You have what it takes to live your dreams, Gemini. You deserve to live in an atmosphere of joy and acceptance. You are open and receptive to all good. I really hope they help. I love you all and bye for now.